Hey, good evening, everyone. This is Abdel with Ratio Trading here, and I want to take a look at a few markets here, specifically uh, some of the ones you've been you've been asking about. Uh, we'll start off here with Apple, a market we've been long for a while uh, and watching. Um, if you can see, if you want to take a look here, this is a daily chart. So what I'm seeing right now, uh, as I alluded to, I think about a week or two ago, uh, Apple's kind of just hanging out here near its not too far off its highs. Uh, I believe yesterday I tweeted out that if Apple is able to take out the hundred dollar level, now keep in mind that it's split from the seven near the seven hundred. It was uh, if it if it takes out a hundred dollars here, long term. Okay, so we're looking at a monthly chart. Long term, I I uh, have a full expectation uh, that there's a seventy percent chance that it will attain that one twenty seven. So that's around one. 24 okay now it's gonna have to break and close above the hundred dollar uh on the monthly chart so we're a while's off from that happening i don't it may happen this month it could happen next month uh that's the longer term perspective i think there's a good likelihood of that happening simply due to hype and 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 new products and whatever's coming out in the next few months so a couple of months from now we're going to see new iphones presumably some sort of wearable according to various reports probably new tablets updates to computers so there's a lot to expect in the next couple of months or next few months going into the end of the year and i think we're going to see a push up into the high if it takes out the highs look for that move we're still long and i'm still watching now if you're not long which has been the question what do you do so I've been paying attention mostly to um, the weekly chart, and I think the weekly chart hints that if we see a, a, a pullback, we could get a really, really nice trade here. So what I'd be looking for in the next few weeks is to see if Apple is able to come back down. If it does come back down to about into the 80s, right, mid to low 80s, I would be a buyer there. So essentially, you can see here what was previous structure resistance. I would hope would I would believe would end up being support. So in the event that it came down right here, I would be a buyer. Now, if that doesn't happen, right, then and it takes out this 95 high, I would probably look to get long from that 95 high with a a, a stop right below this low here. So again, you can see market went from the low to the high here made a minor retracement now minor retracements often mean that there's a lot of strength and now it's retesting if it takes out this high 95 i would look to get long with a move to at least the 127 which is 100 bucks and then again we may see that push so either way i'd be looking to get long it just depends what happens over the next few weeks we take out this high we get long stop below here look for a move up to the 100 and past that we don't take out the high here at 95 and we drop down we look to get long there so either way looking to get long apple for a long-term move up to 125 ish all right google here one on the weekly chart you can see it's starting to retest this area this is a very interesting area right here um if it does take out this high expect the same thing as i mentioned apple uh if this is a weekly of course not a monthly but if it takes out this high uh look for a move up into 667s and then higher uh, right now I'm being cautious I'm watching it very carefully I don't have any plays on it the daily chart looks interesting here we'll see okay and, and by the way just to show you the power of fibs last low to this high right once it took it out so let me get rid of these extensions here just to show you something so you can see the market went from this low here to that high it came down bounced right if, if you were watching at the time you probably were if you're a fibonacci trader or a ratio trader you would have bought here you can see it went up you can see it double bottomed here right then what happened it rallied back up it, once it took out the highs 127 right happens very very often okay so um keep an eye on that uh if it takes out these highs, we could see it go up to the 1618 uh, of this leg here, which would be 610. So a retest of the highs. So keep that in mind here. I am not a buyer at this moment, but I am watching cautiously. If it starts to push back up into this level, I'd be a buyer after it breaks through here.
but for for now not yet amazon another market where we've been looking at now this is one that we've been long we were long around low 300s it kept going down but stops were below this low here if you're a ratio trader you know what exactly what this is it pushed up we got our first target it's kind of hovering around here now this is one you want to pay attention to because if this takes out this high right here and you can see it's been having a challenge here right it's going to explode to the upside right that's what happens consolidation leads to major expansion so i'm watching here now i continue to stay long i've got stops below this low at this point if you're not in this trade from the beginning i wouldn't get in it now um monthly chart to me looks very positive if this thing gets enough strength i i expect it to keep going to at least hit that 50 a little bit more 345 to 360 then it's going to be interesting to see if this can hold them that, that momentum and not end up falling back down so this is the key area now for me i continue to stay long like i said for that reason alone it came down into this area we were buyers and now the bigger chart here is saying stay long but you got to be a you got to pay attention to this level once it gets up in the here it can get pretty interesting and if it can't hold this we might see it do exactly what amazon did let's go back see what happened here oh not am we were looking at the amazon on the weekly chart so you see it rallied up here same sort of scenario see bounces here rallies fails right now if we look at the monthly chart here bounces rallies we don't know yet all right all right uh one uh special announcement actually we are bringing or i am bringing and we are bringing uh we are bringing cor the daily trading course back um so if you're interested in being in a live room three times a week learning fibonacci setups you're going to want to jump into this live trading course uh normally it's 11.97 for two months uh for a short time we're doing 8.97 the other bonus that we're doing is that the first 20 people that sign up uh rather than getting two months of this they'll get four months so 897 four months for the first 20 people that sign up uh and we're going to keep this probably going for a ne the next week this special or until the 20 run out all right hope that helps uh ratio is where you can find it and uh we'll see you guys next time